Okay, so I got a message from uh, Lisa Hagen in a Facebook group asking if I could show how to um, just make this outer ring and put whatever words you want in it and put whatever shapes you want in it. I'm assuming she means to fit over those, um, those disposable Starbucks cups that already have the little logo on it and you just want to put the ring. So that's what we're going to do. Um, so the first thing you need to do is get a circle. We're going to do create circle. We'll make it a dark color and I'm going to do this big outer circle. Hold your shift button or your control button rather to keep it a perfect circle otherwise it gets all out of shape. And just to keep make it look as much like this as I can I'm going to make it about the same size as this one. This is just an image I grabbed off of Google so that I have so I can see how thick to make the, the lines and stuff. I'm not actually doing anything with it. But so there's our outer circle. Um, now we want to cut this inner circle out of it. So we're going to do another circle. We'll make this one. Whoops. Turn that one back. You have to click off of it before you hit your, before you change the color. Otherwise, it just changes that color. So we're going to make a smaller circle. I'm going to make this one about the size of this cutout. And then we're going to put it in here. And now I put it off center so you can see how it changes when I do this. What I need to do is make sure that this is dead center of this circle. So I'm going to drag a box around both of them. Or you can just hold shift and click both of them. Go to object, align and distribute. Here I'm going to first watch the circles um, center on the vertical axis puts it in the middle that way, and if I center it on the horizontal axis, it centers it that way. I'll leave that open because we're going to use that again. But so now we have these two circles. I want to cut this one out of this one. So I hold this one, hold shift, and that one do path difference. Now we have that cut out of that. And now we need this circle in here to be cut out. So I'll move that over a little bit. We're going to make another, this one's actually going to be a pair of circles. This one we want about the size of that one, so that's good. We're going to go path, linked offset. And when I do that, you get this little diamond here. At this point, change your color. Um, you want to be able to see what happens when you click on this. So if you click it and drag it, it makes another circle exactly the same one but you're making it bigger so now I want this line this offset to be as thick as that white line so we're not going to do this too thick here about like that click the center one so I have them both highlighted and do difference and now I have this ring I need that to be lighter so you can see it because now we're going to take that ring and put it on this one and we're going to cut it out of there but we got to make it a little bit smaller Hold your control when you resize circles, otherwise you lose the shape. So it's going to go like that, but again, I want to make sure they're centered perfectly. So we're going to center them that way. And then cut that out. So now we have that. Okay? And the next thing we need are these cute little stars. So first, we're going to just make stars, because you might actually want stars. You can make whatever you want in here, but I'm going to do a star for, for the moment. So you just click the star and drag out a little star. Pretty simple. Let's see if we have it about that size. That's pretty good. If you notice, that one's rotated. So what we're going to do, click once inside the star, and then your handles change. We're going to rotate it so that it's pointing up. And now we want this star to be exactly the same as this. So we're going to hit Control D. That stands for duplicate. We're going to drag this one. It made an, I made an extra copy of it. We're going to drag it over here. And again, we kind of want these to be lined up perfectly. So we're going to align them horizontally. Now they're perfect. Take one, shift and hit your circle, and cut it out. The other one, shift and hit your circle, and cut it out. So now we have that. Doing pretty good so far. Lisa had asked if she would like a different shape in there, how would she go about doing that? So what you would do, and whenever you get any design, if you take, if you get an SVG, if you buy something off Etsy, and there's something about it that you don't want to, you know, that you don't want there, and it's already sliced out like this, here is how you're going to fix it. 
hold your control button and scroll in with your mouse to zoom in because you really need to be zoomed in to do this. Double click so you see the nodes. Just drag a box around those nodes. Make sure you don't get any of the ones that you need like on that circle and hit delete. And the star is gone. Same thing on this one. See now, that one's gone. So we're going to add say a heart instead of a star. So what I'm going to do is go over to Google, find a heart. Perfect. I would just right click on this, copy image, come back over here, and paste. And that is enormous. So we have to make this significantly smaller, first of all. We're going to trace this. Just two scans. Take off the smooth, make sure you remove the background. Now we have a cute little heart. Get rid of that one. We're gonna make this one a lot smaller. Hold your control button when you make it smaller so that you don't lose the shape. I just changed the color so you could see it against the green. And we'll make it about that big. We'll put it there, make a copy of it, and put it there. And then we're gonna align these horizontally, and that's that. I'm going to move this one over a touch. And now we slice them out. Difference. Now you have hearts instead of stars there. Isn't that cute? So now we have to do the text. Text is where it gets obviously a little bit trickier. There's two different ways to do it. Um, everybody has their preference. I am going to show you both ways. Generally, when I'm doing a top, and I'll show you why in a second, when I'm arching it over the top, it's easier to just put the text on the circle. If you're going under it, it doesn't work out so well, and I'll show you why. Um, so first, we're going to do, I'm going to write, I love, that's going to go across the top, make a new text box, see you, I love coffee. So we're going to make this one, I use Santana font. For me, I like it. I think it looks the most like Starbucks, but that's just me. Other people definitely use different fonts and are perfectly content with them. Just a preference. So now we have our text. We're going to make this the right size first. I usually measure just one of the letters for the height. That's about where I want it. I'm going to stretch it out a little bit so it takes up more room going around the cup. But that's about good. So there's our words. I'm going to get this one out of the way for a minute. So to put it on a path, we're going to draw out a circle. Whoops. See, I didn't hold my control button, and that's what happens. Hold control, and you drag out a circle. And we want this circle to be about the size of the circle we're putting this on, give or take. So there's our circle. Hold shift. Click your text. Text, put on path. And you'll see that it wraps itself around there. It's obviously on the bottom. We're going to have to fix that. You can click it once and rotate it around so you can see what it looks like, but it really doesn't matter. So now, click off of that so they're not attached to each other anymore. And you put your text on your... Come here. You put your text on here. And you see it's not perfect. You kind of usually have to manipulate it a little bit to get it exactly how you want it, but there you go. I want to actually rotate that. That doesn't look centered to me. Alright, so there's our I love. We're going to take that. We're going to turn it into a path now. Object to path. But now each letter is separated. So we box them all. Control K makes them all one path. And then we can slice that out of here. What difference? And there you have that. And now... See, now for this one, I'm going to make a copy of this just because I'm going to show you how why this doesn't work, and then I'm going to show you the way I do it. So here's our text. Still a text object. I'm going to select the circle and select the text, and put the text on the path. And now, it's on top, obviously. We need it to go inside the circle, so we have to flip it over this axis. So we flip it this way. But now it's behind it because that's just the way it happened. So we take this 
and send it to the back, lower to bottom. And now you can see your words got totally smushed. Um, so if I double click on this, I can make this right here. It says spacing between letters and pixels. I can make this bigger, like 35. Maybe I have to go a little bit bigger than that, maybe 45. Okay. So now your letters are kind of pulling themselves apart a little bit. But, oh, you know what? But now I don't want it on the inside of the circle. I want it out here. So how do I... I should have actually made that circle bigger. Because, you'll see in a second. If I put this in here, I did it around the inner circle instead of the outer circle. So we could actually just drag this wider, but we're going to mutilate these letters. So I completely screwed that one up, but I didn't really want to do it that way anyway, because I wanted to just show you the other way. But that's how you do it around, how you put the text around the shape. But there's also another way that you can do this, and you can bend it. If I take this text and make a make it into a path, combine it with control K and now I'm gonna bend this if I take path path effects we're gonna add the bend path effect if we click on this little button here you can see this green line shows up across the middle of our path we're gonna take that and just drag it and you can bend things to any shape this is good because sometimes you you want to make weird shapes. You don't always want to have it go around a circle or, you know, you can't really get your bezier to be exactly the shape you wanted your text to be. So sometimes bending it, personally, I find a little bit easier, but it has its, it has its problems, I'll show you. So now we kind of have that the way we want it. Fix it just a touch here. All right, so now, if I click on the nodes, you'll see that it still thinks that this is up here. The path, the actual path, is still straight. So we have to take this and turn it back into a path, and now it's actually what we wanted. But if you look closely, if you zoom in a little bit here, you'll see some of these letters got a little warped. It doesn't always happen. It depends on what your font is and what kind of that kind of thing. But um, I personally fix this with the node editor. So if I go and if I go, if I click on these nodes, you'll see all the nodes for these letters. You can move these nodes and make your text shape the way you want it. So we can just drag this one out a little. Maybe drag this one in a little, just to sort of square this up because it looked a little off center, like it looked a little crooked. So you can just sort of fix them yourself if you you know have a decent eye for this. If you really have a hard time with this by all means stick with putting the text on the path but I actually use that a lot too when I'm trying to match a font and it's something really screwy or like it's a more or less standard font but it has some kind of weird um, like lines jutting out from it or some kind of weird shape added on to a normal font you can get as close as you want with the font and then just move your nodes around to make it look like you wanted it to look if that makes sense um, so now we have coffee and we can slice that out of there. So now we have our Starbucks logo. Um, if you ever wanted to change the words of this, just like we did with the stars before, you could always just remove those nodes completely and replace letters um, if you didn't want to remake the rings. If you wanted to add a picture to the center, you could just make another circle and put that in here. And you don't want it to be. Now, again, we're going to have to line this up. It's still over here, line distribute. So now that's centered. And this time, I would actually weld it because there's nothing to slice out of. You're over an empty space. So we're going to do path union. And you'll see that now that center is solid. Now, if you want to add pictures in there, you can slice them out of there. If I take my little heart again, um, where did I put that heart? Actually, let's not do a heart. Let's do... What can we slice out of the middle of this? Let's slice a coffee cup out of it. So let's grab something really simple. This is about as simple as it gets. I'm going to copy that. Paste it here. 
And we're going to trace that. So now we have that. Now this, those black lines are basically what I want white. So I would take that, highlight that, and do a difference. And now I added my own center with my own stuff in there. And if you didn't want that, you could go in here. This is going to be a little bit more of a project because it's more going on, but we could just delete this. Don't worry about what it looks like when you're in the middle of deleting nodes because they get crazy. So now that's gone, and we could actually, all we have to do is delete these four nodes to the inner circle, and now the inner circle is gone again, and you're back to that. So you can see it's really not that hard once you get the hang of what a few functions do. It's really not a lot of different things you have to learn to be able to do this. Um, but feel free to ask any questions, um, post comments, anything else you'd like to see done, and I'll be more than happy to help. This one we would just, of course, save as, and we would save it as a plain SVG, and you could bring that right into Design Space. So hopefully this was helpful, and Lisa, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.